guys, this is Mr. Guinea Pig here, and today I will be teaching you how to get CFW 6.60. So, first thing you're going to do, go down to the description, and then you're going to have to just click that link in it. Just, uh, yeah, just go down to the description, click the link, let me just really quickly get the thing. Anyway, here's the link in case the description isn't working. Let's see. I'll just, anyway. So, here we go. Custom firmware 6.60 download. Ta da! CFW works on PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, and PSP Go. Do not require a Pandora battery for this. That's why I downloaded it because I have no idea what a Pandora battery is. I'm pretty sure I don't have one. So anyway, you're just gonna click download CFW, click it, it's gonna take you to this place, this place over here, what you're gonna do, is, you see how it says these, these are ads I think, let me check, yeah, um, just uh, click this one, the, the blue one, just download now, it's gonna, you're gonna have to wait 20 seconds, while the 20 seconds are, Ticking down, I'd go to your down to your PSP, go over to USB connection, okay, or X, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, here we go. Always open the folder to view the files. Just let you know if this damages your PSP at all. I'm not responsible. You're gonna open up the PSP folder, you're gonna go into game, and then whenever this finishes downloading. Let's say it's finished downloading and stuff. Hooray, finished downloading. That was quick. We're gonna go to the folder. We're gonna cre it's gonna create a little like a dot rar. Um, you need seven zip or whatever or winrar, and then you can just right click, go down to it, and like do stuff to it. Whatever. We're gonna open it. All you need is this thing that says Pro Update. Drag it and drop it. Right into your PSP. Just drop that right into your PSP. And then you're gonna click at you're gonna X out the links and stuff. Then you're gonna go into your PSP. Click circle. And you're going to go all the way down to game. Memory stick. But well, give me PSP go. I mean then just go down to system storage or wherever you saved it to. Get on a pro update. Click X. I did not create this, so if you find any flaws in it, don't be mad at me because I did not create this. Be mad at the people who created it. So, it's gonna. Little thing is gonna pop up here. It's gonna say. I don't know if you can read that. I don't think you can. Unless you have really good. It says pro. B by Team Pro. Press X to launch. Press triangle to uninstall. Hold L to reinstall. And hold R to exit. What we're going to want to do is click X. That's going to write a bunch of files and stuff most of the time. Because I already have the files written and stuff. You just don't have to, I don't have to do that. And you just click X to start CFW. You're going to reboot your PSP. Since that's required. And then you will notice. If I go down to some information, it now does not just say 6.6, .6, it will now say 6.6 .6 Pro B. As you can see, all it says is 6.6 .6 Pro B 9 or something like that. I don't care if you know what my MAC address is and all that. Alright, anyway. So, yeah. Now I have it. Now, my previous video that I just uh, that I uploaded, you can with that CFW you can play your downloaded games from your ISOs and, and CSOs. So YouTube, I hope this helped you in getting your CFW with no Pandora battery. Thank you and bye. Wait, hang on. One more thing I'd like to recommend. And your PSP folder, I would recommend for all your games and stuff that you're going to download, create a new folder and just name it PSP like I did. So I keep your clean desktop or something, you know. PSP, you can keep your 
your um, CFW, your games, your ISO compressor. You know. Yo, I keep this, you know that how-to that was in my one video? That's it. I just... Yeah. So, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. And, wait, you want proof. Thanks for watching, and bye.